All right, guys. We're uh, we're back on that thing there. So let me bring you out a little bit. So last time, what we did is we got the uh, man. This place is a mess. Uh, we got the this off here. Um, I got these parts coming. So we're gonna. The boss give us the okay, my, you know, my wife, uh, to go ahead and try to put some money into this thing. So I got a piston, you know, just like one of those cheap, uh, you know, kits from Amazon. I mean, I've used them before and, you know, never had nobody say that anything messed up. I'll put the description, you know, uh, when we do that video when it comes in. But yeah, um, I got a sneaky suspicion there's still some more moisture down in there. So we're going to go ahead and flip this thing up and try to get it to come out somehow. <laughs> somehow, you know. Um, shoot, I seen Musty One do it in one of his videos a couple years back. So I don't know. Let me set you up in the stand and let's get to it. All right, so let me get this tire back on. Oh my gosh, guys, my, my garage is like done. It is, it is terrible. My wife even said, this is not like your garage. I said, I know. I just, after that, messing with this one last, I mean, I'm sure some of you that seen it can tell I was getting pretty upset about this, uh, what I found here. But, I mean, you can't get that upset. You know, you're going in blind anyways, you know, with the whole thing. So, you know, it just does the boats, right? So, whatever. Here. Put a couple of these on there. Alright. So we can stand her up. Stand her up. I'll just hand tight there. I'm just gonna stand it up. So Let's get this out of the way here. Alright. I mean, it's going to make a mess, probably. But i got to get it out of there, guys. Back up a little bit. You're going you're gonna to hurt yourself. So, Alright. Maybe if I put that down there like that. I don't know if I can do it myself. Here, hold on. Let me go get a neighbor real quick. Uh, they don't like to be on camera. Yeah, I didn't see a uh, drain plug, but got the majority of it. You know. Wow. It's really crazy, right? Uh, let's see. What else here? Yeah, we're just going to have to wait on the parts. It'd be a couple of minutes. Oh, well, it'd be a couple of seconds. It'd be a couple of seconds for you guys, but it'd be, it'd be, uh, be a couple of days for me to get these parts in. Uh, trying to see what else I should address while I'm filming, but there's really nothing else I want to do until I get new parts. Actually, hold on. Let's uh let's let's crack this open right here and see what we're working with in there. Make sure that the belt make sure that the belt in there is working properly.
Sometimes you got critters in there too, watch out. You know? Sometimes you got critters in there. Can you see? There you go. Yeah. Oh yeah, that one's that long one. So you gotta kinda, see here's the two short ones. Go right here and right here. Put those to the side, but remember where that long one is. You know, I'm being some hurting if you don't uh, remember where that long one is. Oh, sorry. All right, so, uh, here we go. Is there any more? Like I say, guys, I'm learning as I go on these things. Uh, yep, that's it. All right, let me get a little mallet here. There we go. There we go. There you go. All right, let's see what we got in there, eh? All right. Gasket stayed intact, that's good, right? Let me bring you in here real quick. Sorry about the fingers. Bear with me, guys. Look at that. All that nasties in there. You know, at least there's not a nest in there or whatever. Well, I see some gears right here. So that's okay. All right. And then, yeah, the belt don't look that bad uh, that I can see. And when I'm going back and forth, see when I'm going back and forth, the machine is going back and forth too. So that's good. That's good. Um, she looked like she'd been in, in some water, like we say. You know. What you... I mean, ain't no, ain't no mice in there, so that's really good. I hate mice. Uh, let's see here. Being up here in northern Michigan, them critters get into everything. All right, so, yeah, down there, I don't know. I don't know, guys. What is that? What is that down there? That's some caca right there. I wish there was a a drain, you know, on the bottom of this motor. But yeah, that 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 uh that uh, you know what's funny? See how thick and new that looks? I mean, this thing can't have that many hours or miles or whatever the hell you call it on it. But this right here, this is mainly. If this had a a clog or something and it didn't get, you know, you know what I mean? Like, it, this has to be lubricated, guys. I mean, you know, you could put uh, regular gas in there and then, then if that thing's working, it's mixing. But if that's not working and you put regular gas in there, that's pretty much what happens to those pistons, you know. Um, you know, just like a weed whipper. You put regular gas in it, you're gonna get these scores on your piston. So, but yeah, we're definitely gonna have to make sure that either this is working or we just mix it in the tank. I think I might be doing a little bit of both if you ask me, I don't know. Uh, I have to kick that around. Uh, okay, I think we're gonna stop it right here. There's pretty much nothing else to uh, about it so um, I might even jump over and start on that bad boy that thing's pretty sweet this is this is the other thing that I got with 
with this for 400 bucks and uh these these right here are pretty cool it's got that uh gy6 motor in it um yeah i might jump over there and and uh start a video while i'm waiting on parts of this one you know i like to try to keep them separate so all right i'll be right back with the parts all right guys we got the parts in for that little Suzuki 80cc uh Yeah, oh, there's some gaskets. That 80cc Suzuki youth bike. Oh wow, it even came with the uh, the studs and the nuts. That's pretty sweet. Little Chinesey spark plug. Let's see. Oh, this is the cylinder. Pretty sweet. Get you down there. There you go. Yeah, it's like uh, 85 bucks on Amazon. So, I mean, we'll see, right? We'll see how it goes. Nice and smooth in there. Not bad. All right. There's a part name. Uh, I mean, uh, manufacturer right there. I just got it off Amazon. I just typed in the, you know, what kind of bike it was. What we got here? Oh, same, same company here. All right, let's see here. What is this? It might be the piston. Yeah, piston kit. Here's piston kit. So let's check that out. All right, there's your clips, there's your pin. Oh, there's your roller bearing. There's your tiny little piston. See that arrow? Yeah, pretty smooth too. Don't got any nicks or anything like that on there. You gotta watch out uh, sometimes when you get stuff through the mail. But yeah, sweet. Got some rings in here uh, seem to be all there yeah there you are all righty pretty sweet right It's all for 85 bucks, guys, off Amazon. All right, not bad. All right, here's the top end. Yep, same same manufacturer. That's good. All right, sweet. Very nice. Threads look okay. Yeah. Let's see if we can get that part number here. Part number. Yeah. I'm gonna take my wife out tonight for dinner. So can't do it tonight. So take your wife out for dinner, guys. Or your girlfriend. Significant other. Yeah. There you go. So, let's do a little recap here real quick. That stuff there is going on, that stuff there is going on uh, 
this bike here. This little youth ATV. Uh, yeah, it's it's in bad shape. Um, must have got rolled or left outside or I don't know. But yeah, we're going to clean her up a little bit more. Put that kit on there and see if, uh, you know, she's got spark and everything. So, I mean, don't look in that bad of shape. The, uh... Plastics are right here, uh, not not too bad. The only crack in the plastics I see is right here. So, yeah. Well, I'll bring you back when I uh, start this project. All right, so it's the next day. I had some uh, snowfall, so I had to Go ahead and take care of that. But yeah, um, we're gonna go ahead and get these little clips out of here. So just take a small flathead, you know, and there's a little there's a little notch right there. So you just go in behind that little notch, you know, put a rag down in there so you don't lose it. Well, so it doesn't fall down in there rather. Just kind of work your way in there. And then kind of do it with two hands here. Um, hold it like that. A little bit there. And, oh, what, there it went. So, you just push your pin out. It might be a little tricky because this thing was kind of beat up. Alrighty. There she comes. Now the new kit comes with a new pin, new bearing, all that. So you ain't gotta worry about all that. Come on now. Let's get it together. Yeah, it's it's in there pretty good, guys. So I don't want to go tapping on it too much because I don't want to bend that arm there. Kind of work it up and down, back and forth, left and right, every so slightly. There we go. Just coming out the other side. Take your time. A little in there, eh? She was a nasty bugger. Okay, well, you get the point. Let me get that out of there real quick and I'll bring you back. All right, so she's coming out now. A little bugger. He's a little bugger. Let's see if we can. Ever so slightly tap it a little bit with the end of my screwdriver here, not a hammer. Just the end of my screwdriver. Okay. Catch it at the end there. Give it a little tap. Work it around. Give it another little tap. You know. Come on. Uh, I think she's gonna come out. She was in there, guys. Cute little thing. There she goes. Okay. See there? Look how bad that was. That's a bad day. Look at all that macaroni. All right. Now we're going to bring out the bearing. Real quick. Alright. There we go. Here's the bearing. 
stuff that rag down in there so my stuff doesn't you know when they get ready to put the new stuff on there let me check that that's real nice and smooth inside here so that's good that's good okay all right i'll bring you back once i get you set up on the bench to assemble the new piston and ring and all that all right So want to inspect this a little bit more in the light. All right, now here's your little notch right here. Okay, can you see that? So now you don't want to have any of these openings on there by that notch. So what you would do, you'd actually kind of keep it like a C formation, like an upward, you know? So you start it on one end here. So you start it like this, okay? And then be very careful, because like you seen earlier, these things go, boom, you know, all the way across the shop there. And if, this, if that was a new one, we'd be in trouble right now. So, and I'm in northern Michigan, way up north. And we don't get no parts around here, you know, around these parts. We don't get no parts around these parts. I love it up here, though. Nice and peaceful. Get out of the city. All right, so let's see here. Make sure that none of them openings is by the mother, is by that other opening. So, but be, be very careful. This thing's got a lot of spring to it. I should be wearing safety glasses. So wear safety glasses, guys. You put in one side, you put in one side first because it's a lot easier because once you're down in there, you're going to have to do the same thing right here. Okay. All right. So let me make sure that that is seated in there properly. All right. So all the way inside that groove. Okay. So do you see? Do you see how that is closed up kind of now? Because I got that ring in there and there's a little groove in there. So take your little screwdriver here and kind of go around and make sure, sorry, I'm trying to do this. So make sure that this is all the way around here and make sure that your ring is not open on that side. Because that'd be a potential thing for you to now this this pro this product niche where's it at this product that I'm using it's called niche they say it's original equipment quality so we'll see eh pretty inexpensive but I mean this is my first time using this this particular company but it so far so good guys it, it looks like it's uh it's pretty doggone good actually all right so now we're gonna get i use this red and sticky i like this stuff by lucas i like this stuff so Kind of like give her a little, a little squirt there. Okay. Work it around. Put my finger in there. Best I can. Even put a little bit on your pen. Okay. See, it's red and sticky, just like it says. Red and tacky, red and sticky. All right. Now, Gerald fixes all. He uses his own. Uh, red and sticky, but I, I think it's the same stuff if you ask me 
All right. Yeah, see, goes in there nice and neat, like, you know. So, push it back out a little bit. Okay. I want everything to be kind of lubed up, guys, because this is the last time you're really going to see any of this kind of an action, you know. Don't get it on your bench. Yeah, so. You can lube up this. That. It stays for a while. You know. I like to get it inside there. Everywhere. You know. Can't use too much of the stuff he has me. So. Kind of get it everywhere. All in them little grooves and stuff. You know what I mean? I mean, last thing that you want, guys, is for this stuff to be getting all caught up, you know. So let's see here. So now, after I lube it, I'm not going to stick it on that rack. I'm going to stick it over here on this, uh, this table here. So, now, I'm going to go ahead and lube up my bearing. I like to lube up the bearing pretty doggone good, you know, kind of get it stuffed in there, you know, get all that new macaroni, now that's new macaroni, get all that new macaroni in there. Yes, 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 yes. All right, now. Go in the center of it also. Get all that new macaroni going on in there. Alright. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and put this off camera real quick on there. It just slips back in there just like you took it out. Because I don't want to be going back and forth and getting anything contaminated too much, you know? So I'll 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 bring you back when I'm when I'm ready to put the piston up. All right, so now for the rings, okay? Now, if you look at these, okay? Let me get my hands on. So if you look at these, there's going to be a spot. Let's see if you can see that. There's gonna be a spot where there's some writing. The writing points up now these are the same exact one top and bottom so you ain't got to worry about all that the only thing that you do got to worry about is that the writing see there's the writing on this side do you see that the writing has to be pointing up guys very important because it's this this orientation right here that, that you're kind of worrying about there you know so let's get that going real quick all right so, be very careful, kind of start it on this side in the groove, don't stretch it too much, bring it down ever so slightly, you know. Just take your time, don't rush it. You know what I mean? There you go. All right. She's getting in there. Kind of bring it out a little bit more there. There you go. Now that bottom one's on. Okay. Now you want to kind of put these so they're away from each other okay remember that too now make sure that your now double check make sure see how i made sure that my stuff was pointing up my uh writing okay now put on your second one 
Now I see that my opening's over here. I'm not even gonna take the chance. I'm gonna put my opening on the other side, on the opposite side. Okay. Now my writing's up top still. Okay. All right. Now I'm gonna put some more red and sticky on there. All right, now I'm gonna take my, now the side that my pin is on, right here, okay? I'm going to, the opposite side, I'm gonna put my, my pin in, okay? Now, on the bottom, see how it's coming out right there? Right? Just barely put it, so it's kinda of poking out. See it right there? Whoops, sorry. See it right there, kind of just barely poking out? That's how you're gonna slip it down in there and then slide your pin in. All right, we're gonna go ahead and do that. Let me get you set up over there by the machine. Okay. Now we're going to slide it over. Okay, now I'm, I'm still keeping my rag in there for a reason, guys. You can kind of hold it from that pin and kind of get it, am I in your way here? Kind of get it centered in there, okay? I'm gonna be in your way for a sec, guys. Okay. Now we already put our bearing in there. All right. Take your time, don't rush. All right, now we're sliding in. All right, now slide all the way. Okay, still leave your, your rag in there because you got to put your pin on the other side now. Okay. Now here's your pin. Your little, I mean your little clip, your little clip there. This is the, this is the nerve wracking part, guys. Because now, you're not on the bench anymore, you're on the machine now, trying to put this thing in. So just do it, just like you did on the, the bench. Put your, in, in the groove first. Kind of rotate it. Hold it on one end, take your screwdriver ever so slightly to try to get it to coach in there. There you go, now it's in there. Okay, now make sure to kind of take your screwdriver around. Make sure that the open end is nowhere near the, the clip, okay? That your open end is at the 12 o'clock position. That's the way I like to do it. Alrighty. Now we can take out our rag. Okay. Alright. Now I'll bring you back when I get the uh, bottom portion over here. Now I forgot to mention the arrow on top of this piston goes toward the exhaust. So remember that, that's very important. Okay, so now we got our lube, our sticky, our red and sticky inside the, uh, the top portion here. Now, this is very important. Take your time when you're doing this. Don't wreck it because this can be an easy task and it can be a difficult one if, if you make it, okay? Now let's see here. Okay, get it lined up here. I might have to take off that coil, guys. 
Yeah, I'm gonna have to take that coil off right here. You don't want to try to get in a rush and wreck something, you know. So, let's see here. Yeah, I might have to take that coil off. I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. I'll bring you back when I get the coil off. Alright, now that we got our coil set to the side, we can continue. Let's bring it in like this. Okay. Take your time. Don't rush it. Okay. go take your time don't rush it get it set in there without any sort of kind of resistance you know move it around a little bit if you like but please just be careful Cannot stress it enough. This is not a, a thing that you want to rush. Okay. We're getting lower. Back and back and forth. Don't rush it. Bring in those springs. They're brand new, so, you know. You don't want to try to rush this, guys. Do not want to try to rush this. back out if you want start all over you know but please do not get in a hurry come on baby You may do it different, but this is how I do it. I just take my time. Get it in there. Come on, baby. With new rings and things, you gotta get everything pinched in there, you know. You get the point. Okay, so we got it in there. Um, it was a little bit of a bear, but we got it. <clears throat> now, remember that that arrow right there has to be pointing toward the exhaust, okay? And then um, I actually had to take it back off. I forgot to uh, put the, uh, the um, gasket on there, so I put the new gasket on there if you can see it. 
Uh, in there, see the new gasket? So, now this, what I like to do, and what's cool about that kit, it came with a NGK, uh, I called it Chinesey yesterday, but yeah, I didn't realize it was NGK. I like these spark plugs. So what I like to do, I like to put my spark plug in there so no debris gets down inside there once I'm, you know, and here's our gasket. All right, let's take it over there. And, uh, you know, what I like to uh, put that on there so no debris gets down inside my, my uh, cylinder there or whatever. Okay. Put that bad boy on there. Come on now. Don't be playing. Hold on a second. Is that on right? Hold on, let me get you set up. All right, let me back you up a little bit. Now, a couple years back, I got tired of playing that guessing game because uh, my eyes were getting bad. So I bought one of these. I love this thing. It's by Cobalt. I got it from Lowe's uh, Home Improvement. And especially for these little guys because it does, it does also inch pounds. So uh, you just set it. Okay, now it's on inch pounds. Now it's on foot pounds. So five. So it's like what, six to nine we said, right? Let's go nine foot pounds on this bad boy. There we are. Make sure she's going the right direction. Now what I like to do so I like to just take my socket and just kind of go all the way down to the base with it, you know. All the way down to the base with it. Kind of crisscross pattern. Just like you would when you're doing the old, uh, you know, this kind of eliminates, I don't know, the possibility of it being crooked. You know, with the uh, torque of the torque wrench. So I go kind of like that just to get it to the base. And get my machine here. Okay. Kind of like go like that a couple of times. Not all the way to it starts beeping and all that jazz. But yeah, just. I think it was like a hundred bucks. It's not bad, dude. You know, people, <laughs> dude, people, you know, it's cold today, guys. Yeah, it's cold, but I got the heater going. I got a, uh, whoop, there it went. Not very much. Just, there you go. There you go. Yep, I just kind of like going several times around. There you go. There you go. Another round. Now, very slowly, because you'll go over the amount there, you know. I think what I'm going to do... I'm going to kind of like just do like a little over overall look here, you know, and uh, just kind of make sure that I've got my, you know, stuff uh, tightened down and everything and everything looks good. Um, I'm going to jump it because we still don't have our, uh, there. Oh, we still don't have our, um, you know, our little relay. I may, I may just go to the hardware and get like a little automotive relay. As long as it's 12 volt, I think with 
four amps or something like that. I have to, you know, make sure. Or they may even have it. I don't know. But I got a whole box of them coming from uh, uh, Amazon. So, yeah, I think we're um, about ready to rock and roll. I'll bring you back when I uh, start doing the electrical on that on that part there. All right, guys. Double checked everything. Now I just uh, I just got a jumper right here for right now, you know, to kind of mimic that that connection for the uh, that little relay. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some power to it and uh, see what we got here. tuning on the uh, carburetor uh, maybe even on this uh, this uh, this air box needs to be on because it needs that back pressure yeah also with the uh, exhaust too guys but yeah I think we got us a winner <laughs> yeah very cool all right all right, I'm going to bring you back once I get done, you know, fine-tuning that a little bit. Okay, so what we have here is that, uh, before I put everything back on, uh, let me talk to you. Those uh, new components that I that I ordered don't come with the stud for the, um, uh, the exhaust. So we're going to go ahead and, uh, so what I do is I put two, two nuts on top of one another. And then I, here, hold on, let me go get a, uh, I could just go like this here. So we're not wasting no time. Now, just hold one nut and tighten the, the other against each other. And then sometimes you can back it out, you know. I mean, a lot of people know this trick. I mean, it's nothing I invented or nothing, but it's how I do it. So, go ahead and tighten them up with each other, and then back that sucker on up, oh, <laughs> back around out, just like that, right before you get to the end, what I like to do, you just reverse it. Grab your outside one, because it's already loose, you know. Grab your outside one, with your caveman tools, you know. And uh, go ahead and <laughs> there we go. All right. Yeah, I'm glad we were able to turn that little thing around. It's pretty cool. Won't you? Uh, won't you start celebrating yet, though? You know, we gotta gotta get everything. Though we gotta get everything, uh, you know, dialed in. You know, so don't think that it's party time yet. Not out of the woods yet, you know. But yeah, see? That whole thing just comes right on out. You just take out that one. Take this one off. Well, let me look at you now. Uh, 
take that one off like that. And there's your stud. Now to put it back on. Okay. Put it back on. I should have left that all like that. But, you know, you get the drift. So, tighten it back up. Right back on to the new one. Uh, but the exhaust pipe has a stud too. So, it's, you know, one stuck into this portion. Bring it down a little bit. One stuck in this portion and one stuck into the, uh, the exhaust. So, we do have both of them. Well, let's do it right this time and use the same use the same two wrenches, eh? Not playing around. All right, here we go. Come on, stop playing. Get on there. All right. <laughs> boy, oh boy. Alright, so let's hold that one in there. Okay. Hold that one. Bring this one out. I really enjoy you guys tuning in. Make sure you uh, share, like, and subscribe. We're going to do great things on this channel. As long as I get the support from you all, I can do anything. I do appreciate it. And God bless everyone. Well, that didn't work out there, did it? Well, come on now. Get it together with it. All right. All right. There we go. Now we're, now we're in there. Alright, yeah, like I was saying, thank you everyone so much for uh, liking, sharing, subscribing. It's It's been a very cool month so far that the channel has been up and running. I really enjoy it. Yeah, I, I, I really do. I, I really enjoy doing this. It's it's a uh, it's an honor to try to share just the little bit that I know uh, to you all. So thank you. Let's get back to business. Stop being a weenie. All right, let's see. I'm being a weenie hut junior, like my daughter says. What's well, very cool about that niche product there is that everything seems to be dead on um, so far. So I'm, I'm really liking that. That niche uh, product. I think I might get it again when I run across another project that needs a piston head and that I really like these ratchet wrenches because they they kind of help you get into those tight spots like this right here this 10, 10 millimeter by the way 10 millimeter wrench here Come on, baby. Tighten up there. All right. Now we're talking, guys. Now we're talking. Okay. Got our bolt here, through there. Get our exhaust going. Yeah. Let's hear this puppy again. I really enjoy that. She like it. Man, she burns like a kid, mate. Alright, we're gonna shut her down. Alrighty.
Yep. That's what it is. You see what, how I was holding my hand here and she was just idling there? It needs that back pressure. So when you guys are working on these things, don't get discouraged. Um, it, it just small stuff can make it off. So a, a, a screw being too far out on the mixture, uh, your air cleaner not being on properly, sucking air somewhere else, you know, and so on. So just, you know, it's just nothing boats. Let me get this all together and uh, rock and roll.